My journey at Bradley over the past four years has been something that was completely unexpected. I remember flying into Chicago, driving down into Peoria, and I was like, this is totally not my school. I see cornfields, like where's the ocean? Where are the palm trees? What brought me to Bradley was the engineering program. The campus tours were great. Kind of just the campus overall and, and the feeling that I got here. I went to a counselor and I said that I'm interested in getting into entertainment industry and improv and comedy and all these different things. And the counselor pointed me towards Bradley because of the Hollywood semester. So I came here, toured around, and I felt comfortable. Kind of felt like a, like a, a community. This is exactly where I want to go. It didn't seem like I was away at college. It just seemed like I was in a new home. Small enough, the right size. I actually put my housing deposit down that night on the way back uh, on my phone in the car. Something that really brought me to Bradley was the high success rate in the dietetic internship program. So I came in as a mechanical engineer freshman year. Now, I am a trumpet player and I knew I wanted to continue that into college, uh, from high school into college. So I started playing in the jazz bands. So in order to be a dietitian, you have to complete an undergraduate degree but then go on to complete a dietetic internship and the national percentage for acceptance is 43%, but at Bradley for the past few years, it's been in the 90 percentile, and this year it's been 100%. One day I just said to my, my music professor, I said, you know, I've always thought about being a music producer. It's kind of something that's crossed my head. I did some live production in high school, so, and he recommended I check out the music business program here at Bradley University. So I took a class and absolutely loved it. Decided to switch, officially switch my sophomore year here at Bradley and was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I just have always had a huge interest in helping kids and helping kids in poverty in particular. So I went to the dietetics department and expressed this interest and went on a dietetic based missions trip to Guatemala. When we arrived back in the States, we plotted the data on growth charts and after this, we actually presented the research at FENCI, which is a national conference, and I became a published author by my sophomore year. I got to go to the Hollywood semester, my junior year spring semester. I studied at, in Los Angeles at the Groundlings Improv and Theater School, which is where Melissa McCarthy, Will Ferrell, Kristen Wiig, all these big names in comedy they came from. I interned there, ran a bunch of shows, also got to take a bunch of classes in writing sketch comedy, as well as doing improvised comedy. I thought that I wanted to be a television anchor. I thought I wanted to do broadcast news. That's why I entered at KBC7. However, once I was there, I realized this is not what I want to do at all. I could have graduated from Bradley, moved back to LA, realized like this is what I want to do, and then do it, and then feel like, why didn't I feel more prepared before I came here? So it was like through Bradley's help that I realized this is not what I want to do. I want to do something more in the entertainment industry. One of the biggest highlights that I've had at Bradley was being a part of the Bradley University speech team. It's our little secret on the hilltop that we have the best speech team in the country. We are the only speech team that has been one of the top five ranked speech teams in history, which is a huge accomplishment. And especially winning a national championship as a freshman is something that I will always remember for the rest of my life. I wouldn't have become the person I am today without the experiences of being a part of the speech team here. So I've had two internships in my time at Bradley. The most recent one was with ConAgra Foods, a Fortune 500 company, and as a sales major I got real sales experience. I wasn't getting coffee or, or working with a printer, uh, and so I had a 20 million dollar account. I was working in the same position that a full-time rep would be, and so that just really adds to my confidence as I move into the the life after college. I couldn't thank Bradley enough for my experience just because, like I said, they prepared me to be a teacher, not just be a teacher in a really good school. They prepared me to be a teacher in any school. Bradley University really helped me figure out what my true passion was. From where I was then and seeing myself now, I'm just like, wow, completely different. I found a huge passion for what I want to do and I now know how to properly pursue it. Having four different placements at four different schools, I'm like, okay, wow, throw it at me, please. Please throw it at me because I'll be able to handle it. I made my best friend. I met the people who will probably be in my wedding one day. This place has become my home. It's become my second family.